Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again, and we're going to look at another flashback episode. This is flashback episode number 18, and we're going to look at TV basketball by Midway in 1974, but of course, also at the year 1974 in review. So uh, we'll fire up the Crazy Climber 80 DeLorean and go back in time to the year 1974. Let's start with news events. President Richard Nixon resigns due to the Watergate scandal. Vice President Gerald Ford is sworn in to succeed him. Dungeons and Dragons Tabletop RPG is released by Gary Gygax and Dave Arneson. Rubik's Cube is created in Hungary by Erno Rubik. It was a big hit in the 80s in the U.S. Ronald DeFeo Jr. murders his family in Amityville, Long Island, New York. That inspires the book and film Amityville Horror. Uh, Turkish Airlines Flight 981 crashes in Paris. All 346 die. The heiress of a publishing magnate, Patty Hearst, is kidnapped from her Berkeley, California apartment by the Symbionese Liberation Army. She is later found robbing a San Francisco bank, apparently as a member of the SLA. She said that she was, like, kidnapped against her will, but a lot of people don't know about that. First, all surviving six tuplets are born in Cape Town, South Africa, the Rosenkowitz family. A uh, fire in a Sao Paulo, Brazil building kills 177. A uh, soccer stampede in Cairo kills 49. People magazine is first published, and there's Mia Farrow on the cover. An OPEC oil embargo against the U.S., Europe, and Japan is lifted. French President Georges George Pompidou dies. Alain Poher succeeds him for a month. A tornado outbreak hits central U.S., killing around 319. Hank Aaron breaks Babe Ruth's all-time home run record at 715. Eighteen are massacred by a Palestine Liberation Front in Kiryat Shmona, Israel. Thirty-three are killed by bombings in Dublin and Monaghan, Ireland. A shootout between the LAPD and the Symbionese Liberation Army kills six SLA members. Not Patty Hearst. <laughs> Cleveland Indians... Uh, Schedule a 10 cent beer night at Cleveland Municipal Stadium for a game versus the Rangers. Cleveland has to forfeit when drunken violence spills onto the field. Isabel Perón is the first female president of Argentina. News anchor Christine Chubbuck commits suicide live on Sarasota, Florida's WXLT TV. Turkey invades Cyprus. A train en route to Germany derails in Zagreb, killing over 150. A bomb explodes on TWA Flight 841 and crashes into the Ionian Sea and kills 88. Emperor Haile Selassie of Ethiopia is deposed. The Kootenai, Kootenai tribe pushes for land grants via a 10 cent toll on US Highway 95 in Idaho. Two pubs in Birmingham, England are bombed. The Birmingham Six are arrested. TWA Flight 514 crashes near Dulles International Airport in Virginia. All 92 are killed. And John Lennon appears on Monday Night Football with Howard Cosell. Howard would unfortunately have to announce his death uh, six years later on Monday Night Football. Well, now let's look at celebrity deaths of 1974. Tex Ritter, Samuel Goldwyn, Tim Horton, founder of uh, Tim Horton's Coffee Shops, uh, Billy DeWolf, Edward Platt from Get Smart, Peter Revson, Cy Williams, Bud Abbott of Abbott and Costello, Agnes Moorhead of Bewitched, Duke Ellington, Donald <clears throat> Donald Crisp, Frank Sutton of Gomer Pyle USMC, Juan Perón, Dizzy Dean, Joe Flynn, Lightning Slim, 
Cass Elliot of Mamas and the Papas, Charles Lindbergh, famous aviator, Buford Pusser, famous sheriff, Otto Kruger, Fog Allen, Walter Brennan from the Real McCoys, Cliff Arquette, also known as Charlie Weaver on the Hollywood Squares, Ed Sullivan, Oscar Schindler, Sam Rice, Ivory Joe Hunter, Vittorio De Sica, Karen Silkwood, Johnny Mac Brown, James J. Braddock, Paul Richards, Harry Hooper, Richard Long, and Jack Benny. <clears throat> well, now let's look at TV show debuts of 1974. The huge hit, Happy Days, Good Times, Tattle Tales, Name That Tune with Tom Kennedy, the PM version, High Rollers, Jackpot with Jeff Edwards, Nova, Land of the Lost, <laughs> Shazam, Rhoda, Hong Kong Fooey, the $25,000 Pyramid with Bill Cullen, uh, Dinah, Little House on the Prairie, Chico and the Man, The Rockford Files, great show, great theme, Policewoman, Kolchak the Night Stalker, The Big Showdown Game Show, Money Maze Game Show, there's Nick Clooney as the host, George Clooney's dad, uh, Free to Be You and Me, uh, special, and it's the Easter Beagle Charlie Brown special. Well, now let's look at movies of 1974. Godfather Part 2, Young Frankenstein, Blazing Saddles, The Towering Inferno, The Taking of Pelham 123, Chinatown, great movie, Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, Harry and Tonto, Murder on the Orient Express, recently remade, Airport 1975, The Conversation, Death Wish, the first one, Earthquake, Emmanuel, The Four Musketeers, Lenny, The Longest Yard, Macon County Line, The Man with the Golden Gun, James Bond, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, A Woman Under the Influence, The Street Fighter, great uh, uh, martial arts movie, Sugarland Express, Captain Kronos, Vampire Hunter, Herbie Writes Again, It's Alive, a cult movie, Phantom of the Paradise, another cult movie, The Little Prince, Black Christmas, The Parallax View, The Groove Tube, a silly movie, and Flesh Gordon, really stupid movie. But now we're going to look at number one hits of 1974, and there's a lot of them. Time in a Bottle, The Joker, Show and Tell, Your 16, The Way We Were, Love's Theme, Seasons in the Sun, Dark Lady, Sunshine on My Shoulders, Hooked on a Feeling, Benny and the Jets, The Sound of Philadelphia, The Locomotion, <laughs> The Streak, Silly Song, Band on the Run, Billy Don't Be a Hero, Sundown, Rock the Boat, Rock Your Baby, Annie's Song, Feel Like Making Love, The Night Chicago Died, You're Having My Baby, I Shot the Sheriff, Can't Get Enough of Your Love, Babe, Rock Me Gently, I Honestly Love You, God, Olivia Newton-John was hot, Nothing from Nothing, Then Came You, You Haven't Done Nothing, You Ain't Seen Nothing Yet, Whatever Gets You Through the Night, I Can Help, Kung Fu Fighting, 
Cats in the Cradle, and Angie Baby. And other big hits of 1974, Life is a Rock But the Radio Rolled Me, Radar Love, Come and Get Your Love, Dancing Machine, Midnight at the Oasis, Spiders and Snakes, Jungle Boogie, The Show Must Go On, Waterloo, The Air That I Breathe, Let It Ride, and Taking Care of Business, Wildwood Weed, Wishing You Were Here, and Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me. Now let's look at Sports of 1974. Super Bowl VIII. Miami wins their second consecutive Super Bowl. They beat Minnesota 24-7. Minnesota is still 0-4 for, for Super Bowls like Buffalo. <laughs> uh, NBA Finals. Boston beats Milwaukee four games to three. There's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar for the Bucks. World Series. The Oakland Af Athletics win their third straight title. They beat the Dodgers four games to one. Stanley Cup, uh, Philly uh, wins, I think, their first, yeah, their first title. They beat Boston four games to two, the Flyers. Uh, NCAA basketball, NC State beats Marquette 76-64. And uh, NCAA football, uh, Notre Dame beats Alabama to win the AP Bowl championship in the Sugar Bowl, which actually took place one day before uh, New Year's Eve. Uh, Ali KO's foreman in the eighth round in the Rumble in the Jungle in Kinshasa Zaire. Golf Masters champ is Gary Player. U.S. Open champ is Hale Irwin. British Open champ is Gary Player again. And the PGA champ is Lee Trevino. Well, that was our look back at the year 1974. And now we're going to look at a game called TV Basketball created by Midway in 1974. It's a black and white game and uh, it's kind of kind of like Pong except you try to bounce the ball into the basket to score po to score uh, two points. There's no three-point shot or anything but uh, you don't see it right now but there will be uh, guys that you bounce the ball off of there will be a, a total of four guys in uh, when you put in one quarter and play then there is two players simultaneous play one player controls two players at once uh, they both move in unison and the other player controls the other two players and they move in unison but if you put in two quarters then you can have four players play at once and each player will control one basketball player. And yeah, you just try to bounce the ball into the hoops off of uh, the other player. And the hoop on the left will give two points on to the player on the left. See, the score's at the bottom, 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, put in the hoop on the left, and the score on the left will get two points. And same with the right. I had to use the emulator dice, which is not working very well at all for some reason right now for me. Uh, it frequently crashes, um, and uh, it doesn't want to record well with uh, uh, Bandicam, which I normally use. And I finally managed to get some uh, some of it to work a little bit. We will see both the. Uh, two-player simultaneous play and the four-player sim simultaneous play. Let's get started. <clears throat> We're going to begin with a uh, just the two-player uh, simultaneous game. See, like I said, you control two characters in unison, and then the other you, you uh, the other player controls the other two characters in unison. There's gray and there's white. And uh, the ball will bounce away from the basket you're trying to defend uh, when, when 
one of your guys hits it, and when one of the white guys hits it, it bounces towards your basket. See what I mean? And there's weird uh, physics for the ball. Uh, sometimes when it bounces over the over the basket, it should bounce off the wall and away from the basket, but then it just goes straight down through the basket. I don't remember seeing this in arcades back in the day. Well, I was too little to really play much of games back in 1974, but uh, I don't remember coming across this one. It's kind of different. See, there you saw the, the ball take a weird angle when it went right over the hoop. But there's just uh, uh, 120 seconds to try to uh, make sure that you have the higher score than your opponent. And there's no computer opponent. It has to be uh, simultaneous players, you know, actual human players. Note that there's only that the ball can get above you. There's only so high that you can make your guys move. Well, that's the two-player simultaneous play game. And we'll also play a uh, four-player si simultaneous play game. But yeah, dice the emulator was not working well for me at all. I could not uh, could not get it to cooperate with Bandicam and it kept crashing. I don't know what the hell is wrong with it, but it used to work great for me. Not anymore. But uh, that is TV Basketball by Midway in 1974. And now I'm going to play four player simultaneous play. See, we can each control one guy. And uh, for DICE, the emulator, which stands for Discrete Integrated Circuitry Emulator, um, the uh, up and down keys on the keyboard control player 1, player 2 is controlled by the, the keys W and S, player 3 is controlled by the letters I and K, and player 4 is controlled by the uh, number lock keys that is uh, 8 and 5. But yeah, you can only move the players up and down. You can't move them side to side. But uh, that's TV Basketball by Midway in 1974. I, like I said, I've never seen it. And all it is is you just try to you just try to get your your team to have uh, more points by the time 120 seconds expire. And one team is the gray team, and one team is the white team. And uh, if you have four players playing simultaneous, two are going to be on one team, and the other two are going to be on the other team. You just try to get uh, the ball through the hoop. The ball can't go up through the hoop from below. <laughs> This isn't a bad game for 1974. They did something different with the the Pong Mythos. But that is TV Basketball by uh, Midway in 1974. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this was flashback episode number 18. Well, this is Crazy Clum Radio, and thanks for watching TV Basketball by Midway in 1974. And my flashback to the year 1974. Well, uh, I hope you had a great uh, Memorial Day weekend. I'll see you later, everybody. You all have a fantastic day, and I will see you with my next video, number 19. Take it easy, everybody. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.